For a time, near the end of its Moorish period, Granada was the grandest city in all of Spain. But eventually, with the tumult that came with the change from Muslim to Christian rule, the city lost its power and settled into a long slumber. Today's Granada is a delightful mix of both its Moorish and its Christian past. The Silk Market, or Alcaceria, was originally across the street from the main mosque, so today it stands across from the main church. Filled with precious goods, salt, silver, spices, and silk, it was protected within 10 fortified gates. Today, while a tourist trap housed in a modern reconstruction, this colorful mesh of shopping lanes and overpriced trinkets is fun to explore. You'll invariably meet persistent gypsy women, pushing their fragrant sprigs and palm reading and then demanding payment. You can consider them aggressive and annoying, or you can zip up your valuables and have a fun and spirited give and take. A handy minibus service loops from downtown through Spain's best old Moorish quarter, the Albaicín. Increasingly around Europe, minibuses wind locals through narrow lanes of old quarters. Tourists can hop on for a cheap and scenic joyride. The Albaicín, with flowery patios and shady lanes, is a delight. Exploring these labyrinthine back lanes and inviting neighborhood squares, you feel the Arab heritage that permeates so much of Andalusia. Enjoy a drink on a no-name square. Savor the lazy tempo of Granada life. An alternative community of young people nicknamed Pie de Negro, or Black Feet for their basic earthiness, hangs out in the Albicina. <laughs> And Granada is home to tens of thousands of gypsies, or Roma people. While their nomadic culture makes traditional employment a challenge, one vocation in which they excel is music. In the evening, in the hilly Sacramante district, gypsy families entertain tourists with colorful folkloric shows. These intimate concerts are performed in the very caves that once housed Granada's gypsy community.